So hello everybody, this is Paul here and this week we've got a short video for you on how to create a custom toolbar and how to add some buttons to that toolbar within the Visual Basic Editor. Now having a custom toolbar can be very useful. It means that your coding will be that little bit quicker because you don't have to hunt around for those common buttons that you're clicking all the time. So I've got a spreadsheet that I've created here. It's a very basic spreadsheet and we're going to use Alt and F11 to open up the Visual Basic Editor. Once we're in the Visual Basic Editor, we can see I've created a module called Custom Toolbar with just a very simple subroutine in it that prints a little bit of information to the immediate window. And what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, add a new custom toolbar. We can do that by hovering our mouse and our cursor up by the menus at the top and then right clicking and going to customize. This brings up the customize menu. We can see a number of toolbars are listed here in the toolbars uh, area. And what we want to do is click on the button for new. When we click on that, we get a pop-up box asking for a toolbar name. Let's call it my custom toolbar. Click on the OK button and we can see over on the right here, a new toolbar has appeared. And at the moment, it's just empty. It's got nothing in it. So the next task is now to add some buttons to this toolbar. We can do that by going to the commands tab. And the commands here are categorized into various uh, categories. And within each category, we can see over on the right, the various commands for that category are displayed. So let's say we wanted to add a button from the edit category. We can just select the command over here, for example, find, drag it over to our toolbar. We see once we let go of the mouse, it appears in our toolbar. Let's say after we've added one of the buttons, we want to get rid of it. It's a simple case of just clicking on that button and then dragging it back over to the customize pop-up box. And we can see now it's gone. So let's go and add a few buttons to our new toolbar. Let's, let's add the find to it. Let's add the comment and uncomment blocks. Those are common ones that I tend to use. Let's go to the uh, run menu. Let's add a run command. Let's add a reset command. I also want to go to the debug menu. I'm going to add compile project. This is a very important button. I click this all the time and it's not displayed by default. So you do have to add it either manually to your own custom toolbar or to one of the existing toolbars. So let's drag that over to our custom toolbar. Let's also have step into, step over and step out. Okay, once we are done adding commands to our toolbar, let's just click on close and let's just drag our toolbar up to the top to dock it in a sensible location. We've created a toolbar now. Let's say we wanted to hide that toolbar. Quick way of doing it is by right clicking up at the top and just unchecking the checkbox next to the name of your custom toolbar. So if we click on that now, we can see it's, it's hidden away, it's disappeared. Let's display it again. And now that we've displayed our uh, toolbar, let's actually try using it. So let's click on the run button while we're in the custom toolbar subroutine. And then let's use control and G to just open up the immediate window. And we can see as expected, we've got our text yay, which has been printed to the immediate window. Excellent. Close that down. And click on save and we'll just close down the Visual Basic Editor. And that's it for today. <laughs>